Greetings, a uh, little update on the uh, GN that cycle cart build. Uh, when I've been driving, I've only been able to get up to about 35 miles an hour, and I think that's uh, due to the driveline shaft setup that I've got going on. Uh, the way I did it initially was based off of parts that I, I could find, um, and I think that system in itself is inherently inefficient, which is um, causing me to kind of limit my max speed to about um, 35 miles an hour. Uh, however, we found some new parts from Rockford um, that will enable me to transform this drive shaft system and I think will give me a lot greater efficiency uh, in my drive line, which will help me get up to that. You know, I should be heating, you know, 45 miles an hour with this drive setup. Um, also, I had a, a wrench made up for the drive pulley. Um, I've been experimenting with springs on that, uh, just uh, adjusting the engagement point and I had to take it on and off quite a bit and I was just, it's kind of cramped in here uh, due to the front engine layout so I had this uh, wrench made up that lets me uh, get to that step keyed bushing easily, uh, which is especially critical when you're loosening the, uh, uh, the bolt there. Also, we're going to lay down the drive shaft five degrees, or not the drive shaft, the steering shaft five degrees. I've got some new brackets for that, so we'll drop that angle. Um, and then I've got to have a new uh, hoop plate made that the, uh, the end of the steering uh, attaches to, um, because that's going to be lower. So yeah, uh, all in all, the cart's working pretty well. Uh, I've been waiting on some parts, finally got them. So hopefully next week, We'll be installing the new drive shaft system and um, we'll have some fun. That should be pretty cool. So let's get to work. Okay, so these are the new uh, drive pieces I got from Rockford. Um, I've got a one and a quarter inch diameter tube, uh, one eighth inch ID, one and one eighth inch ID. Source that from McMaster Car. That's forty one thirty chromoly. These two weld in yokes that I'll insert in the ends of the drive shaft. The drive shaft's going to be about this long. The nice thing about this is you may recall that I had to like cut the drive shaft, realign the yokes, added a sleeve, and basically I made the whole system heavier because uh, it was a solid uh, round bar. So hopefully this new drive shaft will have the added benefit of one being aligned properly, but two, it should be a little lighter and it should also be stiffer. Uh, I've got a new uh, downstream yoke and then this, this is the key to the system. Um, this is a 4130 machined um, slip yoke. I was able to source this 22 spline male shaft that I'm going to make a new jack shaft out of. And then I'm going to bore this sprocket out and we're actually going to um, weld this sprocket over this yoke. So we're going to have uh, basically two and a half inches of full spline contact on the, the drive shaft, which will help stiffen things up quite a bit. And then I'll also be able to put in a zerk fitting to get it all lubed up so it lasts uh, a good long time. So I'm, I'm really excited about the new drive shaft setup. And um, we'll get that all fabbed up this week and then hopefully installed next week. So here's the underside of my drive shaft. Uh, you can see right here, I can wobble it a fair amount and then the sprocket is separate from the assembly. So it's got a spline in it that um, attaches to the shaft. And then this yoke has a spline which attaches to the shaft. Um, and really, I've only got about an inch and a half, maybe, of contact of both the, the yoke and the sprocket. And just when this thing's running, it's just wobbling all over the place. So the plan is to replace it with the new jack shaft assembly, the new yoke. The New York's going to push it out farther, too, which will be nice, so I won't run the risk of slinging grease up on the uh, CVT belt. Uh, all in all, it's going to be a lot better assembly, so we're really looking forward to uh, seeing if we can gain um, the driveline efficiency back and get running up to up to about 45 at least.
that's the goal. So here we go. We've got the new gearbox mounts installed. The angle's laid down about five degrees. Steering wheel is in place. Uh, it's a lot more in line with what Nat looked like uh, visually. Uh, it's gonna decrease some of my leg room a little bit, but um, I'm confident that I can make up for it. It's, I just kind of bow my legs a little bit more. So in the coming week, hopefully we'll get the drive shaft uh, made up and we can get that installed on the next episode. And then hopefully we'll see some improved speed out of my GN Nat cycle card. Until then, work on. Cheers.